let me uh, let me ask you. You mentioned little children there. You made a documentary. It's called The Breadwinner. Uh, it's the yes. story of uh, a boy in Afghanistan, an eight-year-old boy who makes a living selling newspapers and yes. calendars. Uh, before yes. we go on, I just I just want to take. Let's take a look at an excerpt from that documentary. <laughs> So in that excerpt there we saw the uh, young boy, the eight-year-old boy, uh, being woken up at his house and he makes a living selling calendars and newspapers. He's the sole breadwinner of that family, hence the title of the documentary. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Tell us, how did this come about? How did you meet this uh, young boy? It's very interesting because um, um, we were, uh, I went for, uh, we were helping the, this hospital used to call, um, uh, I work with Medicine Sans Frontier, the Chandel Espoir, a chain of hope organization that is based in uh, France and um, um, went to Afghanistan because we were supporting that hospital and in that uh, I arrived at the airport in Kabul and on the way to the airport I saw a little child, um, uh, no, I saw newspapers coming up from the jeep, um, and I just could see a paper and then disappear, and a paper and disappear. I looked down, I saw this little boy, and I was like, what are you doing? He's like, you buy a paper, I said, give him the money. I had a $5 American, and he just gave me a smile that literally touched me, lit my life. And um, I became fascinated with him, and I wanted to find him. Of course, there are thousands of those boys in Afghanistan on the streets every single day. But for some, for some reason, this boy really touched me, so I went searching for him. And uh, after, to make a long story short, after three days, I found him finally in Chicken Street. I, was, I had a meeting. I'm coming down the stairs. The boy is right outside, and I just grabbed him and I said, I need to talk to you. I wanted to know what, I was curious to know why a boy uh, this young was supposed to be in school doing on the street while traffic is massive and cars are coming right and left and any minute he could lose his life. Where is his family? And he told me that he goes to school and he goes to English classes and he sells newspaper in the morning and he sells it at night and because he's the sole a breadwinner for his family. His father was um, uh, injured um, mentally and physically by the Soviets and his mother takes care of the other five kids which are younger than him and so he's the man of the house and uh, so I thought it would be very interesting to see what will be a day in his life like. My purpose for that was for uh, our foundation to bring a, a, a piece of film. When people ask you what's going on in Afghanistan, what's the state of affairs of mm -hmm. children, you can show something like this is how um, a day in a life of a child is and how quickly they have to become adults. And it really gives you a great, great perspective. Exactly. This, this film gives such a wonderful perspective on just an ordinary day in the life of these people and in particular this one little boy. It's one of the most extraordinary uh, documentaries or just a piece of film that I've ever seen and I'm, I'm just so, so proud of Sonia because she did the film work. The film work that you see, she's <laughs> holding the camera. And so she was there and, um, and, and then you have such admiration and respect for this, for this boy, yeah. for this little boy who uh, one day we hope that we can get him here and we're going to meet him and he'll even be on this show. One day he's going to be able to speak on behalf of his people. I really believe that. There's yeah. a special something about this young man. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a, uh, this documentary, I named it The Breadwinner, which it, it became The Breadwinner <laughs> for the foundation. Honestly, it's been in uh, festivals and people love this around the world. Absolutely. and. Um, in Washington, it's been received really well, and uh, I'm definitely going to do a follow-up to this uh, documentary every five years and see what happens to Absolutely. this boy's life.